Hello, hello, and welcome to the Whimsy Show. I finally have time to uh, tape a video. I have been packing. I don't know if everybody can see this, but the house is absolutely <laughs> insane with boxes. So thank you everyone who's been understanding about the packing and even Mila. Our beloved Mila is uh, exhausted just watching me do the work. So I decided today that I would do a couple tarot blitzes because everybody has so many questions and I'm excited to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, the first thing we're going to read on is we're going to do a group reading and that is something that I have started to do on a weekly basis where I guess we, you would it would apply to you at the time you see the video even though I'm shooting I believe it's the 16th. Um, when you see the video is when this will apply to you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we'll do a simple prayer just to put us in a good mood. Set and setting, as they say. And uh, let's see what our week is going to be like. Okay, I wanna call on white light protection for myself and my viewers as we ask permission from spirit to access the Akashic records for this group. We call on our spirit guides and good angels to be with us. Give us the clarity and the wisdom that is needed to empower all of us on our journey to make the best decisions for ourselves, for our families, for the planet, for the people we love, and even to heal and help those we have strife with. And so together we say, Amen. Let's go in. What do we need to know in order to be our, be our best, as Melania would say, be, our, be best. What do we need to do to be our best? To help ourselves, to help others, to help Gaia. What do we need to know as a community? It always says like, keep your house in order. It'd be nice if we could get more information. Like what exactly does that mean? Where we are at collectively as a group, we are the peacemakers. We are the peacemakers. We are the mediators in the family. There seems to be a common theme in the people that have joined the group that is that's drawing them together which is that they seek mediation calm waters the king of cups uh, comes to us offering healing wisdom sound advice he reminds me of the buddha and he has aspects of him uh, of his uh, uh persona which is similar to um shakyamuna buddha in the sense that shakyamuna attained enlightenment by sitting uh, under the Bodhi tree watching the river. So there's an element of uh, calm be still, know that I am God, which is in both the Bible and Patanjali. But um, it's this idea of go with the flow, of being mindful, uh, also being the great mediator. Somebody that is able at this time uh, to bring the family together. So if people are arguing because of the current administration, this is really the, the time of the King of Cups. It's a very healing and nurturing energy. You can also see for the group that the karma has changed. There's a break in karma. We can see the 11th house. And the 11th house, if you're doing a two-part spread, is if you're doing a whimsy 12-part uh, uh, spread, excuse me, uh, 12 houses, if you take two bases on a Celtic cross, uh, that's a whimsy's Celtic cross, if you're doing that, the 11th house symbolizes the karma that the person has to go through. So to be clear, karma from a modern Buddhist perspective doesn't mean you asked for it or you deserved it. Karma from a modern Buddhist perspective is just the stuff we have to go through because life is difficult. Life is inherently difficult and things happen. Uh, parents pass away, uh, uh, marriages uh, end. Things happen in life that can sometimes be difficult. So we go through the karma. But for this group collectively, with an 11th house being an inverted, um, an inverted wheel of fortune, that to me means the end or the break of a karma. So a karmic cycle has come to an end for this group. And we see it being a time in our lives when we really want calm waters and peace. Uh, sorry, I can't change the angle because the camera is kind of stiff on the tripod today, but um, I will show you the cards. Where we are at right now, uh, letting go of the things we have lost from the past. Um, five of Cups. The, uh, what did I want to say about the Five of Cups? The Five of Cups, which has three cups uh, that 
fall and two cups that remain talks about the fact that something good still remains, perhaps from a relationship that's come to an end or a business that's coming to an end or a dream that's coming to an end. This is the time when a person comes to a fork in the road, perhaps because of what's happening with COVID, people are changing their jobs. They're trying to see if anything remains from their company, from their relationships, what they can and cannot salvage, excuse me. And so for that reason, the fact that it's inverted could mean that anything that does not have a solid foundation will not be sustained with COVID. If a relationship is superficial, it won't be sustained. There's a feeling here that the only thing that's going to remain are, are the things that are real and genuine. One of the things I also like about the energy that we're going into as a group is this nice king of wands crossing us. So it's as if the two best traits of conservatives and uh, of empaths and the logical person. Those are like two positive traits. You have the compassionate healer, which is the king of cups. He's the mediator. He's the therapist. He's the counselor. He's the Buddha. Um, he's the doctor giving the elixir, right? So it's a very positive healing energy. What crosses us, the king of wands, is the perfect judge, Yehudit. And Yehudit is the ruler of the tribe who, brings, who makes sound decisions, not necessarily based on emotionalism. So what's interesting is that you have two personality types that are really rising to the top at this time uh, in America's history. The one person who is able to remain calm in a storm, that would be somebody like Barack Obama, would be the King of Wands. Uh, somebody who is no drama Obama, stay the course, what do we need to do next? It's that kind of energy. Whereas uh, the King of Cups is more Bernie Sanders. It's the heart of politics. It's the, I do this because I care. So what I like about this energy is that those two types of individuals are coming together and they're working for a, for a because they share a common goal. Um, so this is a time I think when many of us in the group just desire to cooperate. The fact that the King of Cups is coming as a base for us also tells me that we may find ourselves as the peacekeepers in our family. We're very connected with the world, and I think that's because we do, in fact, have people from all over the world that watch the channel. Um, there may be some delays in our jobs, our work, our creativity, and we may also be deciding just to give up work or start something different. So one's profession and possibly one's expertise put it into the past, and opening up our world to a new possibility or new professions becomes a big issue for us uh, going forward. Uh, new job offers and new opportunities. This could also be loans for small businesses. Nice Ace of Cups moving in in the seventh house. Take care of our health. If people are not exercising, eating right, etc. Et during COVID, be aware that the eighth house warning, there's an inverted page of cups, which means people need to be more consistent in their daily healthy practices. Never give up on anything you love or have passion about. Make sure before you give something in, uh, something up, it's not because you're depressed or feel no hope, but because you truly don't want to do it anymore. There's a reservation about leaving things. So really pray on what you do for a living, what you love, what your passions are, and just make sure you're not walking, walking away from something uh, that you truly love because you feel uh, down, uh, downhearted or discouraged. This too shall pass. And actually within six to eight months, we're gonna be headed towards an upturn, but we just have to get through this dark period before we can come out of that. And in six to eight months, when pe the jobs are coming back and when people are feeling better, there'll be this feeling like, oh my God, I can't believe I was, I, I was in such a negative place. I nearly gave up my dreams. Don't, don't, don't think in terms of just the here and now, think in terms of the of the uh, long haul, because this too shall pass. And the clarification, we will be victorious in our struggles. Nice Ace of Swords is the final outcome. You can see here also the seventh house is a star card movement, hopes and fears that we retain our own compassion, the queen of hearts. Uh, during the process of navigating the day-to-day -day business of our lives. What's interesting about the group is that everybody had the same question. And the question that people are asking in the group is, how do I maintain a moral, ethical life uh, and a heart 
while, while simultaneously being able to be victorious and successful in my life and in my career, which is what this card is. But I love the fact that we seek our own hearts uh, during this time. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some really quick blitzes. I've had requests for certain countries that I didn't get a chance to get to or I haven't gotten to in a while. So we're going to be doing blitzes on four parts of the world, starting with Canada, then Europe, then Britain, then Australia. But first, we're doing the United States. So here we have a five minute blitz on what's going to be coming up for the United States. is coming up for the United States. Still refusal to cooperate. We could be seeing a decision happening, uh, possibly in the courts, more decisions coming uh, by the law keepers, etc., against Donald Trump. And there's like a resistance because you have two energies moving in. The karma is the judgment that we have to go through as a nation, but you can see a two of swords there. So there's a resistance there. Um, it's like uh, Trump is in denial or something. There's something that keeps coming up about Trump being offered another job. He doesn't want to give up the White House, but you can see a page of pentacles keeps coming in. It's almost like the guy gets offered a reality TV show or to host a conservative show or something. And then he seriously thinks about it because of the money situation and is going to take an offer he had previously rejected. It really looks like the media. This looks like, it looks like confusion about what went wrong. It's like people that he thought he trusted in his campaign totally uh, left him and he now can't get anything off the ground. People are very worried right now also about the economy, the fact that we have a psychopath card, inverted king of swords in charge of the situation, people feeling foolish about their choices. And the final outcome is we will pull ourselves out of it. There's a feeling like compassion coming, not just from the world. I, I feel like the world is going to help the United States. The United States has to, ha has to ask the world for help. Probably this also means uh, taking a vac uh, rushing a vaccine that is developed outside the US, that kind of energy. Um, and then the final outcome is uh, that we will not give up. We will we will not give up on, on the country. We will get through this. Um, but it, I really think we're going to be taking a vaccine from somewhere outside the U.S. It really looks like that. Okay, we're going to do a quick throw now on Canada. That's kind of interesting, wasn't it? What is going on in the coming months in Canada? All right, there's delay on uh, creation of bills. It's almost like a, uh, a feeling like the government's not working. You can see an ace of wands and a four of swords. So certain contracts, certain deals, certain business in Canada is not happening. Decisions have to be made, but you can see a block there, two of swords. So we're seeing delays, blocks of business here, a judgment, and then a block again here with the two of swords. A feeling of anxiety when I go into this remote, like think like like Canada is also going through struggle, perhaps because their economy is dependent on ours. So, but there's a feeling like time is running out and that decisions need to be made. They're worried about a crash. This looks like a crash that could be affecting the Canadian economy. Yeah, and it has to do with their relationship, possibly with the United States. Something about trade and trade deals that aren't happening. It could be that there's a new trade deal between Canada, Mexico, and the United States, and there's something about a delay possibly of that deal. That's what it looks like. I don't know anything about this. I'm just reading the records. Yeah, a deal that doesn't happen, 10 of cups inverted. Like there's, like they're trying to get trade and stuff happening, and, be, and because of what's happening to the United States, it's gonna ricochet into potentially the Canadian economy. People concerned about their health there as well. Hopes and fears the global economy. Tough decisions are going to have to be made. There's a strong woman coming forward in Canada. She's a politician. Uh, it could also be the head of finance out of uh, 
the G7 because this is a strong woman making tough decisions that are going to have a financial impact on the world. So I, you can see here. So it's probably the head of G7, the economic, the woman that heads that economically. I can't remember her name. So she's going to have to step in and make some very dis difficult decisions that could uh, potentially be harmful to the United States, but they could dump the United States or put the United States in a time out and make decisions without the US. It's a very scary time. I don't like the fact that Canada has that tower in the fourth house, but they, like I said, we will get through this, um, but it does look like business delayed because of COVID and uh, what's going on in the US. All right, we're gonna do the EU next. Crazy times. Europe. Scholarship, academia, knowledge, a confusion around them. Uh, I feel like the energy is good in Japan. When I go into Japan, I feel like the energy is good in parts of Europe in terms of controlling the virus. I feel like Taiwan is doing fairly well. Hong Kong is not doing as well as the mainland, but if you go and you tap into the energy of health, um, Europe is doing well. You've got a nice hermit, it's starting to do well, but the problem is around it is the moon card. So again, it goes back to this idea, if Britain's collapsing, if the United States is collapsing, then it's going to possibly have a ricochet effect on Europe cancellations of trips possibly to the United States. Yeah, you can see cancellations of trips, trade, um, looking over the water, canceled, travel canceled, above, conflict. I, honestly, this looks like the G7 is meeting secretly about what to do with the United States. I don't know anything about this, but that's what it looks like just reading reading these records. So I don't, I, that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're looking at old alliances. If the United States is going to refuse whatever help, there, if, if, if we've put ourselves in a situation where we won't even accept help from Europe, that, there she is again. I think that's the, uh, the economics woman. God, what's her name? The woman that rolled her eyes when Ivanka Trump tried to talk to her. Uh, yeah, concerned about the health of the economy. Mm -mm -mm, not good, the money. Donald Trump. There is a feeling in Europe, that everything is going to be okay by, by the end of August. Everything is gonna be okay by the end of August. You can see the August card walking away from the broken man, hopes and fears, the financial charlatan. The final outcome is the Ace of Swords over the inverted King of Swords. By the end of August, when you look at the remote into Europe, they, in, they are saying they know that this president is finished. So, there seems to be some good news on the horizon about this president and this election uh, relatively soon, probably in less than a month. All right, so now we're going to do Australia. I don't think I've done Australia for a while, have I? No. Okay. What's going on with Australia? Very happy place. All right, Australia, ooh, leadership is going to be female. What's happening in Australia is the academics are starting to move into Australia. They're gaining speed and so are the women. The female academics are starting to come forward. The opening of the eyes, you could see the end of, the conservatives are gonna start losing support. Look at that hanging it up. Look at the karma you have to go through, cutting it off. This is also Archangel Michael who goes to war with the devil, but look at this, the truth comes out. It's also strong female uh, leadership. The law, possibly female lawyers or advocates. 
what crosses. Uh, they're concerned about drought, something about a potential drought. I don't know if, I know they're in the rainy season now, but you can see an inverted empress. Concerns about dr drought having an impact on harvest. Harvest. Uh, decisions having to be made, major economic decisions having to be made regarding uh, the impact of uh, what looks like drought and uh, environmental concerns, major decisions that probably is going to cost the conservatives, it looks like. Oh, but there's, good, there's green business coming in. Oh, there's a transition happening, it looks like right now. Something about, there's two guys in, it, we're working together in uh, charge in um, Australia and one is passing power to the other. Like there's gonna be some type of transition between two men decision that was made yeah you guys are yeah you guys are get you got you're, you're getting some strong Gaia energy and the angry female I know people don't like the angry female but I always I've learned to be comfortable with it in the sense that like I have a cat and she's a very nice cat but if Tommy comes into the yard, the feral cat, and tries to take her food or take her human, she will attack. She, she knows how to defend her territory. She doesn't apologize. She doesn't say it's her karma to suffer and have her water drank by Tommy. <laughs> she, she's in touch with Gaia's reality, which is that I have a right to defend my home, my territory, etc. So... When you have an inverted queen of wands, I liken the inverted queen of wands to a woman that takes the stick and says, my way or the highway. She's finally ste stepping up for herself and saying, I am, you have, I have ceded too much uh, land to you. I have ceded too, yeah, I'm pissed off and I will claw your eyes out. Get out of my space. You're in my space and my space, right? That's the inverted queen of wands. Hopes and fears, the health of the nation, the final outcome, healer woman comes. So it's all about the women again, leaving a broken man. Also a feeling of being lied to. There's a feeling uh, in Australia that people lied and they're going to find out more about this during some type of potential economic crash. And there's an expose coming out about possible missing funds or corruption in Australia government that's uh, going to be quite uh, scandalous. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. All right, thanks for watching everybody. And uh, if you're trying to get in for a reading, you can go to tarotwithwhimsy.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.